Hello there, Brickheads28 here, and today I'm going to be showing you the work I've, I've made on my castle display, which is what I've been working on over the past couple months, to just like really flesh that out. So I'm just gonna walk you through it. So over here we have my big Black Falcon village and kingdom. We've got the blacksmith right here, and the uh, um, 3 one castle right here, which I've actually elevated on like some rocks to make it look to make it look a bit taller than the blacksmith, it's still a tad short, which really just goes to show that this castle is really not, the, not really the castle, the blacksmith is really not built, made to be in scale with any of the other castle sets, including the Lion Knight's castle that came out recently. That also allows me to do an elevated drawbridge right there with a moat under there. And I have a small black falcon army right here using the red falcons from the Bam Wall. And I have my Black Falcon King, King Falcor, leaving the city. I also have this fountain from an old uh, from an old town promo right here. I'm on with a little market back here. Outside of the castle walls, I have an incoming Lion Knight Brigade, which will which is meeting to discuss um, which is meeting to discuss an end to the war with the um, Black Falcon King. And they are not the actual Black Falcons. They, I also got these from the BAM wall. These were a while back. They're using the um, Frightening Knight torso and legs from the CMF from, I think, Series 15, I want to say. Along with these nice key shields right here. If I can get to focus. Right there. Which are really nice. Um, they will... I will be including these with my Lion Knight's Castle and that comes out along with the um, Crusaders that they have. Um, back here I've got a little pig pen with a farmer and his dog. And over here I have a little cottage with a farmer and his house along with the full right there. And right here we have a group of rogue dragon knights preparing to maybe charge the Lion Knights. And we have a Lion Knight Lord being carried by two knights. Off over here we have Forest, which if I ever do get a Forestman hideout, fingers crossed that they bring that promo back. They probably won't, I'm, and I'm just not willing to pay $40 for it. But if I ever do get it, it's going inside this dark forest right here. Um, and you might notice this big blank area right here that I have nothing on at the moment. That's actually going to be where the Lion Knight's Castle goes when I get it. I put the blue plate over here because that's kind of like where the water mill is. And it connects up to the river right here that runs through my model. But that's where the Lion Knight's Castle is gonna go when I get it. I'm halfway there to saving it. I just need a tap, I just need a little bit more money. Um, and then I'll be able to buy that and I will definitely be doing a review on that when I get it. Um, but yeah, that's about it for my castle display. As for everything else in the Lego room, nothing has really changed. I got the, um, I got the um, Galaxy Explorer that came out and I'm hoping to maybe be doing something with that. I don't quite know yet, but yeah, that's about it guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and bye.